ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for the Lancashire Hot Pots virtual pub quiz? And here's your quiz master, Dickie Ticker. Because it's Monday night, time for the Lancashire Hot Pots virtual pub quiz. Thanks for joining us on what is week number 30 of the pub, uh, the pub quiz. We've oh, wow. 30 quizzes over 30 Mondays if you've caught, it doesn't matter whether you've caught one of them and this is your first tonight and whether you've been with us for the 30 whole weeks. Thanks very much for joining us. To get the most out of tonight, you're going to need four things. You're going to need a pen, paper, you're going to need a drink and some nibbles. If you're playing along with us tonight, type your name in the box below. If there's a couple of you and you've got a team name, whack that in as well. And if your social network allows you to at in a friend, colleague or even enemy to get them to play along with us tonight, you do that now. That's a lot of things for you to do, so while you do all that, yeah. I'll speak to some geniuses of the music. It's called the Lancashire Hot Pots individually. First up, it's Bernard. Bernard, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, you cockers, Bernard Thresher here, and I'm from Lancashire! Yay! Thanks for joining us tonight, Bernard. Thanks for joining us. Um, what have you got for your drink on this Monday night? Can I do it the other way around? Is that all right? You can do, you can do, yes. Because I'm going to disappoint and then excite. To eat, not really a nibble. It's done a meat and chips. Oh, oh, meat nice. and chips. Nice. Oh, mm. absolutely horrific. And the, there'll be an explanation as to why you're eating done meat and chips tomorrow. Mm. Quite rude, And for drink, to wash that down. down Get ready for the noises. It's a nitro jet black heart. Oh, it my can. word, my word. Isn't it? Wasn't get, it? Get that from a supermarket. You know. Hold on. I've got to go faster, now, Kenny. Yeah, you've got to boom, smash it. It's going in. Right in the kisser. You've got to legit. Oh. You know, I wouldn't, necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily think of it. Jet black hat, pair him with a kebab, but it's going in. Yeah, interesting. But nothing, oh, yeah, nothing, nothing purrs better with gonna meat than vanilla. <laughs> there we go. We'll just let that have a have a little rest, eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Lucky old you. So where do where do you get that from? Which super, supermarket? Um, where did I get that from? Morrison's. Morrison's. More reasons to shop at Morrison's. Three pounds. Right, I'll leave you to uh, your jet black heart and your greasy spoon while we speak to the next member along. It's Bob. Bob, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there, I'm Bob. I'm from Lancashire. Yay! Yay! Glad you could join us tonight, Bob. It's, it's, been a, it's been a funny old week or two, hasn't funny, it? Funny old, yeah, funny old week or two. But I, it's we, we, we're fine. Normal. We're getting back to normal now, aren't we? And there's nothing more normal than a pub quiz on a Monday night. It, it grounds you. It, it, it allows you to know that the world is spinning. The world is spinning. Monday, um, it's, it, it's, it's a rubbish day of the week for some, but we, we make it a little bit of a happier place, don't we? Of course we do. Of course we do. And now, that I don't, I'm not too sure if you've got any... Um, any have you got any nibbles tonight? I have got nibbles. Um, I've not been out much, um, but I've just raided the, the cupboards and I found, I have found gold flaming hot what's it. Oh, oh nice. yummy, yummy, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Back at cupboard as well. Check the date. Check the date. Back at the cupboard. For 2021. But disappointingly, only 16 grand. Oh, what? terrible grammar. That's the multi pack oh. grammage for you. I'll have, I'll have sniffed them in about two seconds flat. Hand in, hand and, out, empty. And for the drink, it's something rather special. Uh, my tremendous friend Richard, who lives around the corner from me, um, has done me a solid, and he went to Alden oh. to buy this new Brill Dog oh. IPA. I, I went well to my Aldi on Friday and they had none of it. So would you would you like to do a, a, an instant taste test the, for us now? Let's get in the. Let's. Oh yeah, it's crafty. I can I can smell the. It's, it's a bit punky actually. Did he give you a Did he give you a price? Who Richard? Ah, oh. 
No, he didn't. He didn't say. He didn't say how much it was. I'll, I'll just own one. It's quite um, pale. It's quite pale. thin looking, yeah, isn't it? It's not yeah. dark. It's quite light. It's quite you get light. that quite it's a lot. With the it's four point seven percent. Yeah, it's a bit. But it looks quite a lot like Lost Lager. They've rebadged it, you fool. Oh, it's it's different though. It's 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 a different, it's a different taste. Not as kind of not as thick as a punk, but um, still delicious, none the least. And so, it, so there you go. Still delicious is Bob's um, verdict. Four point seven percent. Yeah, you you'll enjoy that. You'll enjoy that. Good, good. Right, we'll, we'll leave you to uh, the Aldi special um, while we uh, hop over to the next hot pot along. And it's Kenny. Kenny, what's your name and where you're calling from? I'll do it, Cockers. Kenny Body here, and I'm from Lancashire. So I've got a. Sne- I've already had a sneak peek of your nibbles, but let's start off with your drink tonight, mm-hmm. Kenny. What have you got? Oh, are you still tucking it into that uh, magic box? Uh. No, I've had a week off, um, and like two women who have gone to a event in the same dress. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> I do hope that your review is it's a bit thin but delicious. <laughs> I, I'm not going to bother getting it out of the can and have it straight from the can. So, oh, cheers. oh, God help you! Let's hear the noise he makes. Yeah, it, yeah. It, as it says, sessionable India Pale Ale. So, you know, not quite as flavoursome as a punk or higher ABV IPAs, but yeah, it's not bad. It's all right. It's Do you all... think it will lure in the uh, the normal Aldi buyers? Um, I don't know, because I think unless you know what it is and you actually look at its brew dog, your regular punter might just think it is just a cheap... Aldi own rubbish mm. beer. Will it sway them from the Taurus? That's the question. Will they deviate <laughs> from the Taurus? I mean, if, if, you, if you're keen on the Taurus, that's it. You, you're keen on the Taurus and yeah. probably nothing's swaying you. So, yeah, th- you know, people might pick it up and go, oh, actually, that's not bad for an own brand. And then they might actually look at it and go, actually, it's not an own brand. It's, it's brew dog. But that's and it, the joke. And it's helping to save the planet as well, isn't it, Kenny? So, yeah. One yeah. session at a time. They're planting trees yeah. if you buy enough cans yeah. of it. Yeah. Which is a good thing. And to soak up your um, Aldi IPA. I've also got some Aldi bought snacks. So Ooh. it's the the foodie market. Oh, so delish. Thai style sriracha mix. If they do oh. say so themselves, Dilish. Yeah, so it's sriracha flavoured peas, roasted salted corn, and sriracha flavoured half popped corn. So it's like popcorn, actual corn, and peas. Yeah, you've lost Bob. Yeah, no. they're not like peas though. They're like I don't know what they've done to him, but no, no, they must be the peas. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of looks. I don't know if you can see it. I've got a few in a little bowl there. That's. That's what they look like. Nice. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. Just a little, nice, nice spicy little mix. An entertaining like finger full. Spicy, but yeah. Right, yeah, uh, nice you enjoy little. tucking right. into your bowl, Kenny, while we speak to the next hot potter along. And it is Dr Ron. Ron, what's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening, listeners uh, and viewers. Uh, my name is Dr Ron and I'm from Lancashire. <laughs> well, was, never in doubt. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, tonight, Ron. Uh, and what have you got to uh, entertain your mouth during these ten questions of ours? Well, to entertain my mouth, the uh, the viewers will uh, see what it was that I've been entertaining myself with tomorrow. Okay, because I right. haven't got my nipples right. with me today. Because it would be very greedy of me to have nipples after what I've just eaten. Do I have got the beer? Uh, and I'm not letting the side down tonight. I too. Have a brew dog beer and mine's the Hazy Jane. Yeah. Hazy Jane. Well done, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, what, what's the uh, what's the ABV on that? Just for the uninitiated. Uh, the ABV, it, it's just straight five. 
Awesome. Straight standard five. Uh, I too, like yourself, Ron, uh, I've got no nibbles uh, tonight because uh, I've already eaten. People will see what we're talking about tomorrow if they tune in on, on the socials. Uh, and I'm just doing a, a standard dead pony. It's classic. It's classic. Mm. That concludes the check in part of the quiz. Uh, don't forget, the 10 questions. Full house. It, it, that's about, yeah, I suppose it is. Some mm. would say we're out there, but yeah. Brewdog, oh, should Brewdog maybe think about doing a beer for us then? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, would be, wouldn't it? So we've got 10 questions coming up. Each correct question carries the value of one point. Uh, no answers in the comments, please. Just put them on your sheet. Now then, uh, Mr. Hot Pots, are you ready? You better believe it, baby. Hot Potters at home, are you ready? Well, let's get quizzing. <laughs> Week 30, question number one, and music. And we're talking Sir Cliff Richard. Bob, do your Cliff impression for us. Hey, guys. Huh. And that's Very all good. we need. Uh, Sir Cliff was 80 last week, so a happy belated wow. birthday to Sir Cliff. And I'm talking one of his song titles. And which prayer was a Millennium Chart topper for Sir Cliff? So one of his song titles I want you to name which prayer was a Millennium Chart Topper for Sir Cliff Richard? I, I think I don't know whether I made a lot of these quite easy because it's a, a celebratory week 30. I've, I've also decided we're going to have a big uh, have a big Christmas one at Christmas. Maybe they're all going to be Christmas themed. That'd be good. Uh, question number two is films. Uh, and I want to know who played Bridget in Bridget Jones's Diary. Which actor played the character of Bridget Jones in the Bridget Jones series of films? I know. <laughs> Never seen any of them. Not a clue. Pointless. Question number three is egg sausage, chips and beans. And this mm -hmm. week's, it's sausage. Uh, and more specifically, sausage rolls. And I want to know, how many sausage rolls does Greg's the Bakers sell every week? Now, I must advise, this is a pre-COVID figure. I'm not too sure what they are now, but you know, on average, if things were normal, how many would, how many would they sell every week? Is it A, half a million sausage rolls? B, a million sausage rolls? Or C, one and a half million sausage rolls a week. It's quite a lot of sausage rolls, whatever way you look at it. Yes. We like our sausage rolls, especially from oh, Greg's the Bakers. sausage rolls! But how many, on average, if things were normal, would Greg sell in a week? Would it be A, half a million sausage rolls, B, a million sausage rolls, or C, one and a half million sausage rolls? Question number four, it's a lager cider, ale and stout, and this week it's lager. And I want to know which lager brand traditionally sponsors a pre-Wimbledon tennis tournament? Ooh. Easy one, that one, I think. Which lager brand traditionally sponsors a tennis tournament that takes place just before Wimbledon? Isn't it the French Open? Not a clue. Don't like tennis. I think it's the French Open. Question number five. We're back to the crisps again. Uh -huh. And salt and shake crisps have provided their salt separately in a, in a little paper bag since the 1920s. But I want to know, what's the colour of that bag? These are Is really it... easy. <laughs> no, they're not. It's A, white. B, blue, C, red. I didn't think you was going to bother giving us the options. Oh, yeah. Because I don't have written it now. Because we've got a chatty wriggles, that's why. So, salt and shake crisps. What's the colour of that little bag of salt? Is it A, white, B, blue, or C, red? I mean, I've got one. I know I've got one. That's good. One's better than none. 
tell you what, question number six. It's all about the Lancashire heart parts. <laughs> and our favourite fiddle player, Kevin Ferret, has played on a number of fantastic Lancashire hot pot smashes. Now, here's three hot pot songs, but which one didn't he play on? A, Purple Zone. B, Wowzers Me Trousers. C, The Baking Song. Ooh. So Kevin Ferret has played on quite a few Lancashire Hot Pots tracks. Hopefully he shall play on more in the future. Here's three Hot Pots songs he didn't play on one of them. Which one didn't he play on? A. Purple Zone. B. Wowzers Me Trousers. C. The Baking Song. Not a clue. <laughs> this is not going well. Ugh. Well, you might you might pull it back in the in the later stages of the quiz as we enter question number seven, which is Wheel of the North. And here's a lyric from a song by a famous northern band. I want you to name the band from this lyric. I sing myself to sleep. A song from the darkest hour. That lyric again. I sing myself to sleep. A song from the darkest hour. Oh, these are easy this week. They are easy. These. I, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm in a, I'm in, I'm in a relative, good to us. I'm in, good I'm in a relatively week. good mood. Well, you know, I like to think that that you know we shall maybe some some weeks are easier or harder than others. Do you want the band or the song? Uh, I'd like the band, please. There are no bonus points for the song, but if you want to say what it is, that's fine. I wouldn't have got it anyway. Uh, question number eight is everyone loves a Bernard, but nobody loves Bernards anymore because this week everyone loves a Ron, and I'm specifically talking Ronnie Barker. Oh, yes. Now, uh, Ron, one, uh, secretly wrote a lot of the jokes and sketches used on the two Ronnies, but he did so under a pseudonym. What was his fake name? Was it A, David Rayner? B. Gerald Wiley or C. Eddie Grace? Didn't Eric Morkin do the same thing? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so Ronnie Barker secretly wrote a lot of the sketches and gags on the two Ronnies, but he did so under a fake name. What was that fake name? A. David Rayner, B. Gerald Wiley or C. Eddie Grace? Question number nine is the television and makeover show Changing Rooms is coming back, it's been announced this week, but with only one remaining member of its original presenting team. Who is it? Is it A, Carol Smiley, B, Handy Andy, or C, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen? So they're bringing the Changing Rooms back after all these years but only one person from the original show is coming back. Who is it? A, Carol Smiley, B, Handy Andy, or C, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen? Oh, it was a great show. Mavis Riley. And question number 10, the potluck, it's a true or false question. Orlando Bloom suffers from swinophobia, which means he's afraid of pigs. Is that true or is that false? <laughs> Orlando Bloom suffers from a condition called swinophobia, which means he's afraid of pigs. Is that true or is that false? Those are your 10 questions for this 30th anniversary Monday night pub quiz. Let's all have a drink together, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter what tier you're on, or maybe you might not even be on a tier, depending on where you are. Let's all, let's all have a drink together. We're all in this together, cockers. Nearly done the uh, nearly done the jet black at uh, 6%, just letting you know. Goes down, goes down great. Oh. Best in Britain, that. First class. Well, we, we've, already, we've already done a bit of chatting before this in a video that you'll see tomorrow. Plug, plug. So, um, anyone else got anything they, 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 they want to share with the uh, the hot potters at home? I've been given these by my daughter. Um, they are sweet eat 
Skittles. Um, so the all the wrappers after all the fruit flavours that we've come to know and love from Skittles, but with a bit of uh, a bit of heat. No, I think the difference. Scorchy pineapple. Oh. Fiery watermelon. Sizzling strawberry. Lemon spark. Picante passion fruits. A piquant passion fruit. I like it. I like it. Once again, confectionery companies rebadging something and selling you the same old stuff. Of course it is. How do you resell your sweets? Weird. I don't know the answer to that. No, no. <laughs> don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. There's, there's music on underneath that space. It, it won't sound as bad as it did in real life. Anyway, let's get round to some answers. So, question number one: uh, music and Cliff, who was eighty last week. I wanted to know one of his song titles, which prayer was a millennium charts topper for Cliff Bernard. Um, it was the millennium prayer, wasn't it? Do we think, Bob? Yeah, clue was in the question there, I remember. The millennium prayer. Uh, Kenny? Oh, I've gone for the Lord's prayer. Oh, and Ron? Millennium. It, the, the clue was in the question. I tried to catch you out. It was the Millennium Prayer. Um, Sorry, Kenny. Yeah, so you say they're easy and then you just get too cocky. Get carried away. Get carried yeah. away. We're off the mark. We're off the mark. Question number two was films. And I wanted to know who played a Bridget in the Bridget Jones films. Uh, Bernard. As well we know. <laughs> Not my... Not my uh, topic, this one. But I've gone with uh, an educated guess because I know this lady was in a film of sorts. Abby Titmus. <laughs> Bob? Uh, I don't think I've spelt this right, but I've had a go. It's Rene Zellweger. Oh, he's got one of the little acute uh, things over the E's. Kenny? Yeah, I went. I didn't even bother trying to spell it. I just put Rene Zellweger dot dot dot. The, uh, Zell uh, the Zellmeister. Yeah, Zell, uh, Zell, 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 Judy Garland. Yeah, oh, I've never show. seen either of the uh, Bridget Joneses. I don't know why anybody would. There's there's three of them. No, nope. just the row. Not in my house. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three was egg sausage chips and beans, and we're talking sausages and sausage rolls. How many do Greg's normally pump out each and every week? A half a million, B a million, or C one point five million? Bernard. They've even got them at service stations. One a part of five. One a part of five million sausage rolls. Uh, Bob? Yeah, your your questions when you're asking us to guess large amounts usually um, go with the biggest. So I'm going to go with biggest, 1.5 million. Okay, that's a deduction there from Bob. Uh, Kenny? Yeah, when your questions are of that nature, they are either the biggest or the smallest, but I've stupidly gone down the middle with one million. <laughs> 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 and Ron you never buy one do you everyone buys two whenever they go so I'm going for 1.5 million uh, yeah I'm sorry Kenny it is 1.5 million <laughs> sausage rolls a week it's two for a pound how do you not buy two got to buy two and you know we, we've discussed this many times but even when she says steady with them love they've just come out you still go at it don't you and then <laughs> <laughs> And then you have another bag, you have another bag. <laughs> Why just put them in the bag, leave them for 10 minutes? If it's there in your hand, you've just got to, you can't not. It's just... Do you get that and bread near yours? Because in the ones near ours, it's always, we've none warm. They've not, yeah, they're not warm. We've none warm. You had one job. Can I, can I just say, Bernard, I'll be able to make an interesting animated gif from um, your little act out. <laughs> My actions, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, never mind. Screen never mind. grab that. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, question number four is Bitter Lager Cider Ale and Stout. And I want to know which lager brand sponsors a tennis tournament that takes place before the Wimbledons. Bernard. Just to let the viewers at home know, the Jet Black Heart was delicious. I'm washing it down with a strong bell chaser. <laughs> However, the beer you're looking for is a complete guess. 
Stella Artois. Okay, Bob. Yeah, I think it's the French Open, and I think it's, it's Stella's Belgian, isn't it? Anyway, but I put Stella Artois. Okay, Kenny. No idea. Just gone for Carling. <laughs> the Carling Tennis Championships. <laughs> yeah. And Ron. <laughs> Ron's gone with Stella, and it is Stella Artois. Bob, it it takes place in Nottingham. Oh, does it? Oh, so it's not the French Open. No, no. It's good old Nottingham. Uh, Question number five is crisps, and I said uh, salt and shake have got the salt inside their little bags, but what's the colour? A white, B blue, or C red? Bernard. It's blue, dum di dum di dum di dum di dum di dum di I could go on. Hey, dum di dum di dum di I'll enjoy this quiz to be. Dum di dum di That'll do. Bob. Yeah, bit of blue. Kenny. Yeah, if, it, if I've got this one wrong, I'm just, I'm just going to walk off. And Ron. Yeah, I went with uh, well, a blue, but it was always a dark blue. Oh, getting bluest there. It was indeed blue. Nice and easy one, that. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. I don't anybody, know how... is there, are there any other crisps that have put things inside for you to add to the crisp, or is it just that one? I think it is just it is just that one. Oh, really? and let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Um, another Swiss, you know the grab bags. We talked about the grab bags being the same grammage as a normal bag of crisp, but it's got grab bag written on it. I think yeah. we've discussed that. Yeah. If you buy a King Pot Noodle, the sauce sachet is the same size as a normal pot noodle. It is. I yeah, have never, noodle. I've never realised that before. That uh, that's a Swiss. Mm. Yeah. Let's kick off now. I mean, I, if you're eating king size pot noodles, you've probably got cholesterol problems, and you've probably not got much more time to worry about it. You've probably taken years off your life. This will be my last quiz, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. <laughs> I think I think there's th- that's a strongly worded tweet that needs to go out this week. I'll let you do that, Bernard. You, you've you've already got on the socials. Lo- lots of brands like talking to you on the socials. So, question number six is all about the legacy hot pots, yeah. and it's a fedit related question. He plays fire a violin on a couple of songs. Which one didn't he play on? A Purple Zone. B Wowzers Me Trousers. Or see the baking song, Bernard. What do you think? He, I don't think he played on this one because it, it, it was a bit bonkers. I went wowzers. Wowzers, Bob. I went a different way. I couldn't remember. I knew it was definitely wasn't on the last one, whichever the last one you said was. Uh, but I went purple zone. Okay, uh, Kenny. Yeah, with the form I'm in, I've probably got this one wrong. It's probably Wowzers Be Trousers, but Purple Zone came into my head before you even read the options out. But that may well be because my brain associated it with him because he does play on it. I probably got it wrong. Purple Zone. <laughs> and uh, obviously the man with an encyclopedic knowledge of Hot Pot songs uh, and albums, Ron. Now, I remember you talking, obviously, to me while you were writing this, and I'm going to go for Wowzers. Okay, the correct answer is B. Wowzers me trousers. Kenny's oh, having a one. shocker of a week. Yeah, I'm enjoying it though. <laughs> it's, it's good fun. <laughs> well, it is. It is. I, I only wish I could play along at home. So, um, question seven is We Love the North, and here's a lyric from a, a song by a famous northern band. I shall sing it properly. And uh, sorry, I'll say it properly now. I sing myself to sleep. A song from the darkest. Our Bernard, who's that by? It took me a while, this, um, because of the way you read it, but I think it's Sit Down, be James. Okay, Bob. Yeah, I recognise that straight away. James, sit down. I'm sure Kenny's going to get this one. Yeah, James, sit thee down, cocker. Sit thee down. Oh, and, and a nice um, weaver's inflection there. And Ron? James. It was indeed Sit Down by James. Well done to everyone. Full marks across the board. Uh, can I just say before we give the answers to this one, sorry. Yeah? That, I, that there is there is a crossing out already on my page okay. for this answer. Okay. It's just because I got the first... I, I, I mixed the first and second name up, so I, I ended up having to cross put the proper first name. 
Honesty is honesty is the best policy. Uh, question eight is everyone loves a Ron, and it's Ronnie Barker, and he wrote a lot of the gags on the two Ronnies under a fake name. Was it A. Uh, David Rayner, B. Gerald Wiley, or C. Eddie Grace? Bernard, what do you think? Um, watched the documentary not so long ago about the uh, two Ronnies. The information went in, and unfortunately, it went back out. Not a clue. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Me, Gerald Wiley. Uh, Bob. Uh, I don't think it would be. Um, I don't think he'd pump for a Dave, David Rayner. Um, I couldn't remember this, the last one when you said it. The only one I could remember was Eddie Grace. Okay, Kenny. Uh, yeah, no idea names. David <laughs> name and Ron. Yeah, I watched the documentary about it recently, and I'm pretty sure it was Gerald Wiley. Uh, the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is B. Gerald Wiley. <laughs> The reason, in your pipe and smoke it. the reason he used a pseudonym is that he didn't necessarily want any, everyone just automatically choosing his gags because he'd written them. He wanted to stand on their own merit. So he used to like send them in to the production office, you know, under a under a fake name, and everybody sort of liked them and they got used that way. Sorry, sorry guys, my internet dipped out just as uh, you gave the answer. What was the answer? Uh, it was B. Gerald Wiley. All right, I got it. Yeah, not a deal breaker though, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> a question about now is television, and we're talking makeover show, changing rooms, which is coming back, but only one person from the original team is joining them. Is it A. Carol Smiley, B. Handy Andy, or C. Lawrence Lowen and Bowen? Bernard. I've used the logic that there's only one of them I've seen on TV recently in an advert, thinking that this person wants a bit of media back. I've gone LLB. The LLB, Bob. Yeah, same kind of logic. The I've not seen Carol Smiley around for many, many a year. And if they're going to bring something back, they've got to bring LLB back, haven't they? Oh, two people gone with the LLB. Um, Kenny. Uh, I've just took a punt, and Kenbo has gone for Los Lubo. Los Lubo, I like it. And Ron. <laughs> You can't sell a programme without LLB. It is indeed Lawrence Lorell and Bowen. Well done, everyone. Big, well done, big guys. Fan. See, I, I know he does adverts for Victorian Plumbing. I think that's a terrible name for a business because, you know, Victorian Plumbing sounds like plumbing that, that's been rotting and corroding away for, for well, decades Victorian decades. Plumbing involves putting it in a bucket and throwing it out your front window. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> And last but by no means least, Potluck. I said Orlando Bloom suffers from swinophobia, which means he's afraid of pigs. Is that true or is that false, Bernard? Pretty confident with this one. I know it's false because a fear of pigs is called having the piggles. <laughs> and Bob? Uh, I complete the guess as always, but I just went with true. Okay, Kenny? No idea, false. Uh, and Ron? I went true. Ladies and gentlemen, it's true. No. He's scared of pigs. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's true, scared of pigs. And, and is it called swinophobia? It's called swinophobia. It does not like having the, the piggles. It, no, it, it doesn't like the piggy wiggies. It's called swinophobia and he suffers from it. Those are your 10 questions for this very Monday night, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like you to do now is tot your scores up at home, stick them in the box just so we can see what you've got and we can see whether you've got more or less than each member of the Lancashire Hot Pots that I've got before me, right? I'm going to write my little list down and we'll see whether it's been a high scoring week or a low scoring week. So Bernard, over to you first. Give us your totaliser for week 30. Fellas, it's week three of being all right. Eight on ten? No wow. way! That's a big one for you, Bernard. It, it's the power of Donna Meat. <laughs> wow. Uh, and the the, uh, the Jet Black Heart. <clears throat> of course. Bob, um, what did you get? I was quite confident with this one, but I've got an eight on ten as well. Oh! Wow. There's a tiebreaker situation. But unless the guys Ooh. here can pull something out of the bag. Kenny, what did you get? Um... Yeah, I've got a four. So me, oh. me and Bernard have, have done a swap. <laughs> I, I blame it on I blame it on the kryptonite that you made me have in the video prior to this video. 
that people will find out about tomorrow. Tomorrow, right. As long as you don't blame it on the good times, you don't blame it on the moonlights. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Blame it on the earlier video that we recorded, which will go out at a later date. And finally, Ron. Uh, yeah, not done so well this week. Um, only going to bag myself a 10. Oh, no! No! Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ron Seal is the, the soar away winner of this week's what? quiz. <laughs> oh, the crystals. Unbelievable, Techers. What were you giving the answers on? Uh, it was just, well, uh, my daughter was telling me. <laughs> Ron, would you, would you... Just, just brain power this week. Brain uh, power. Would you like to say anything to the hot potters at home on this monumental occasion? <sighs> I just want to say, if you uh, if you watch late night documentaries about Ronnie Barker, you two could get a ten <laughs> on a pointless quiz, which doesn't have any prizes. Unbelievable! <laughs> Fantastic hit. Well, um, he, he's pulled another one back on the uh, on the leaderboard. This could be the start of a comeback. You know, one of those long games of tennis where the uh, the tennis player is like three sets down, and Amazing. then they incrementally build up. Build up and build up. Is that, is that the one it's that's the rope by Carling? It's the Muhammad Ali rope we don't. <laughs> yes, the uh, the Carling uh, the Carling Cup. <laughs> Hockers, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us tonight, week thirty. What a fantastic week it is. The fun isn't over, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because tomorrow we're uh, we've got a very special video for you about a very special product that we're very proud to be associated with. So make sure you tune into our socials uh, tomorrow night for that. We might even possibly have a big announcement later on the week, maybe on Friday, depending on how, how things go. Rev them up. Rev them up for some news. Go on. Yeah, it could be a big week. This could be a big week. Thank you very much indeed for Massive. joining us. You enjoy the rest of the week. You all stay safe and we will see you all very, very soon. Cheers, for, cheers, Cocker. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.